hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in this video we are going to solve wipro elite assessment actual coding questions that were asked in the recent assessment so make sure that you watch the video till complete end because i am going to cover two coding questions that were asked and not only the questions but also we are going to see the problem st statement and after that we are going to see the code what is the coding solution for it if you have any doubts in any of the questions you can ask me in the comments section also if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you there is a complete preparation playlist on wipro you will find a lot of helpful videos in this playlist related to your uh, coding assessments and your online assessment related practice videos make sure to check this playlist too let's start with our first problem statement let's look at this problem that we have so in this problem first of all what we are given is you are given two numbers x and y you need to count how many numbers in the range x to y both inclusive are divisible by x and we have the inputs okay let's understand what the problem is saying see we have the two inputs okay 3 and 18 and the output is 6 6 basically so what is 6 6 is the count of numbers in this range okay now how to find this range so for example based on our input which is 3 and 18 okay if you see what we are told is we have to find all the numbers from 3 to 18 which is divisible by 3 okay so for example the first number which is divisible by 3 is 3 itself next will be what 6 next will be uh, 9 next will be 12 then in this way we will have 15 and every time when we have a number we have to make sure that it is smaller than 18 okay then it is 18 so 18 also we have to take then again 21 we will not take because 21 is greater than 18 so in this way how many digits are there in our series so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 will be the output in this case hope you understood the problem statement now let's see the code for it see in the code what we will do we will take two variables x and y x and y will be our basic inputs x being the uh, initial number and 18 is the like final number okay so initial and then we will take a count variable which is initially set to 0 why are we taking the count variable because at the end we need to calculate the counts right so that is why we have taken count equals to 0 and then we are running a for loop for loop from where to where we will run for loop we will run from i is equals to x which means from 3 to we will run uh, less than or equals to y okay which means 3 to less than or equals to 18 okay and then every time what we will do we will do a check okay that whatever the number that we have is divisible by x or not for example initially we will have the number as 3 so we will check if 3 mod 3 is 0 yes it is count value will be increased to 1 from 0 to 1 okay in the same way next number that we will have is 4 so for 4 we will check uh, if the count uh, if 4 is divisible by 4 mod 3 is equals to 0 no it is not so we will not go to the if condition and count value will not be incremented again we will increment our next value which is 5 5 also we will check but again 5 is also not uh, divis uh, like divisible by 3 so we will not increment our count value next value increased will be 6 so 6 is totally divisible by 3 so we will increment our count value to 2 because it will enter the if condition and count value will be increased so in this way we will keep on following up till 18 and then finally our count value will be 6 so we will just return our count value at the end hope you have understood it let's now see the next problem let's see this problem that we have you are given three integers a d and n where a is what a is the first term of the arithmetic progression d is the difference common difference in the arithmetic progression and n is the number or the term that needs to be found you need to calculate the n term of an arithmetic progression using the formula the formula for n term is a plus n minus 1 into d okay let's see what is a arithmetic progression and what are these inputs that we have see a this a, a this is a okay basically this is told us that this is the first term so we can start the series using this okay this is our a or first term you can say okay first term next is what this is the difference okay so in a series we will have some difference right so this is that difference so which means after two what should come is uh, the uh, the count value after a difference of three should come so which is five okay next after five what should come it should be eight right so this is the difference between two numbers in the series now eight is what eight is the nth term okay and term that needs to be found so in this way like this is the first term second term third term let's progress it further so we will have after 8 we will have 11 then after 11 plus 3 will be 14 14 plus 3 will be 17 then 20 then 23 so in this way if you see this is the eighth term so this is first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and this is the eighth term in the series okay so we have to return this term 
but now we have understood this logically because we were able to generate the arithmetic progression but how we have to write code for it so see for finding the end term in arithmetic progression we have a direct formula that is a plus n minus 1 into d okay now i'll tell you let's try to find out the end term using this formula in our case okay right now we have seen logically but let's find out using this formula so end term will be uh, a a's value is what 2 plus n minus 1 n is our 8 minus 1 and into d difference is how much into 3 right so let's try to solve it further so 7 into 3 this is going to be 21 this is going to be 2 so finally our n term will be 23 so you got it so using this formula also we can find out so now let's see the code for it see in the code we have three inputs a d and n we have already understood what these are then what we are doing we are just creating an n term variable and then we are uh, applying the formula that is a plus n minus 1 into d and whatever the value that is uh, when once final values will be substituted and once the value is the, the equation is solved we will have the number in the n term so we will just simply see out the n term and then we will get the output as 23 or whatever the nth term is okay hope you have understood it if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so that's all for today guys i hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video